You got your money order? Well, I thought from the very first episode I did, there was this little bit of tension put in. I mean, he te in my, I think the first scene I ever even worked almost, he was kind of teasing me, and there was that shot where we sort of looked at each other in the lab. I mean, neither one of us were uh, planning on. Like out of obviously. the zoo? Out of that, yeah, all that park. stuff. Uh, it was sort of like uh, laid in there so early. Mm -hmm. It's always a little bit funny on a show like this where you're mainly dealing with science. All of a sudden, and, you know, we're getting to know each other. We're like friendly co workers. That's, but that's all. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh. <laughs> There's no way you're going to make this shot too much out. Benjamin says I do. You owe me a hundred dollars. First of all, that somebody has a pool table there for me in New York. Kind of yeah, <laughs> the fact that I can afford or have a, a big enough apartment to have a pool table in Manhattan. Obviously, I have a side, another gig going on. You know what? I uh, have to wait till payday. No, you either pay me now or you come up with something better. You know, I kind of thought that the story was sweeter in a way, but in real life, that is often how the tension of like two people at the workplace, they see each other every day, it's gonna take a major move on somebody's part to have some sort of mature encounter for the first time. The truth is, being a Midwest girl, she refused to go out with a guy that wore cologne. <laughs> <laughs> so it took some prodding to it get was. me to stop wearing cologne. That's right. Which is which is also a factor. You can say it was part. Yeah. Of it. yeah. I'm pregnant. I was at first shocked because I really was pregnant, and so suddenly something that felt personal to me was part of the show because it's a huge part of who you are, and it changes the way you move, it changes everything. So I liked showing it, and but for the story, I just yeah, exactly. It's just more fodder, more stuff to play. Hello, sweetheart. Uh, hi. Hello. And it's definitely taken on its own like show and it's its own thing in itself, you know what I mean, which is kind of cool. On a show like this where you don't get to go home with anybody very often, for two people to fall in love and have a baby, I mean, I feel like people are going to really hold on to that because it's a little bit of, of life in, in the science and in the storytelling.